Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial. So in last two video, I explained how to download the protein structure and the chemical compound structure from different database. Like uh, in case of protein structure, we downloaded them uh, from the protein data bank and for the chemical compound structure, we use different chemical databases. So uh, these structures are available uh, in different file formats like protein data bank format, HDF, mole format, mole 2 or several other formats are also there. And in this video, I am going to explain what is actually a, a protein data bank format, what kind of information are saved in a PDB file format. So uh, this is a structure of a small chemical compound and it's present in protein data bank format. Now I am opening this in a visualization software and I am using Biovia Discovery Studio for visualization. You know, this 3D structure can be visualized in different visualization software like Biovia Discovery Studio, Chimera or PyMol. You can see this structural file format is PDB. We can also open it in notepad to see what kind of data are present in this file format. So I am opening it in notepad. Okay. So this is the this the information which are present in the PDB file format. And this information can be visualized in visualization software. You see, there are numbers of different atoms like carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3. We can also view this in the viewing panel of Biovia Discovery Studio. The same information are there numbering of carbon, carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, carbon 5, carbon 11, and then in number 12 position, nitrogen is there. And you can see the coordinate, 3D coordinates, that means x, y, and z value. x, y, and z coordinate of the number 1 carbon. This is the number 1 carbon number 1 carbon, number 2 carbon, number 3 carbon, number 4 carbon. So, the coordinate of each atom which are present in this PDB file format are present in this protein data line. These are the simply coordinates. So, this coordinate actually explain the position of each atom of a uh, ligand structure in three dimensional space that's all similarly in other file format uh, their coordinates are also there but different formats have different extra features like in case of uh, you see image we can save image in different file format like png or JPG or TIF or BMP or even in PDF. So they are same, same image, but they are saved in different file format because different file format have different features. Similarly, we can save the structural information, the 3D coordinates of each atom in different file format in SDF or in PDB or in MOL or MOL2. If the structural file format is 2D, then only X and Y coordinates will be there. And when these coordinates are present, then the connection between the atoms are also present. The information about the connection between the atoms are also present. Visualization software reads this information and then the position these different atoms in 3D space and through connection they actually 
determine the structure of a chemical compound or protein molecule. We can also convert this different file format from one format to another, like uh, from mold to PDB or PDB to SDF. And there is an, a very good software for that purpose that is OpenBubble. And this is the logo of OpenBubble software. You can download this software from the web. For that, type in Google OpenBubble. So you can uh, download the, the OpenBubble software from this link. Okay. It's available for Windows, Mac, or Linux. This is the GUI version that means graphical user interface and also common line interface are also there. So in this video, we will convert different file format using the open Bible GUI and also through common line. Okay. Operating system of my laptop is Windows and this is the open Bible GUI. I can open it. It's opening. So you can see uh, these are the input format and this is the output format. So I am opening a PDB file as input. So we have to change here into PDB. So I am using a PDB file for conversion. Now we have to upload a PDB file. For that click here. and navigate where the pdb file is present so this is the ligand which is present in pdb format i am opening it so now the pdb format for the ligand is now opened and i want its output as mol2 so i am selecting here mol2 And several other options are there. We can add hydrogen molecules. We can make it explicit. Or uh, from 2D uh, format to 3D format, one uh, structure can be converted. So we can also delete hydrogen, add hydrogen, and several other options are there. So I am here simply converting from PDB to mol Now we have to define the location where the file will be saved so i am saving it in desktop and or we have to give a name from the output file so i am giving it ligand 2 and we have to also add one extension that means mole 2 okay now save now i am converting it from pdb to mole 2 now we can see some data appears here and in this location that means in desktop the ligand 2 dot mol 2 has been set you can see here the ligand 2 is set here and we can also open it in visualization software for visualization mol 2 format also can be visualized in visualization software so now i have converted from pdb to ligand so here we can convert one by one that means one structure at a time using the graphical user, graphical user interface and we can also convert the structure in batch mode but for that we have to use uh, common line interface that means from common line if any chemical structure is not available in the chemical compound database or simply if you want to uh, synthesize a new chemical compound then the structure can be set in different sketching software like uh, you can sketch the chemical compound structure in margin sketch and for that simply type in google margin sketch the margin sketching software is designed by the kmaxon and you can simply try it from this link try it for free or you can download this software from this website 
or you can get trial license. So I am simply uh, using its trial version in web and we can draw the chemical compound structure here. So I am drawing a random chemical compound structure. Now I am uh, saving this structure in smile format. Okay. Uh, the format can be selected from this list. So you can see this is the smile format. It's a two dimensional structural file format. I'm copying it. And simply in open bubble. I can convert it into 3D structure. So in open bubble, I have selected a smile as input format. Okay. And I am pasting here the smile format, which I have here. And now I uh, want to convert it into PDB format. Because this is a, a 2D structural file format, uh, we have to add 3D coordinates. Okay. So we have to select this option generate 3D coordinate and then we have to select the location where the file will be saved. I am selecting it in desktop and giving a name sketch.pdb. Now I am converting it. File has been saved here. Yes, I am opening it in Bivia Discover Studio. You can see this is the structure which I have here in sketching software. Uh, now I am going to use a common line interface of open bubble to convert multiple ligand files in a single go. So I am going to introduce you the three important commands. Okay. So these are the commands which I am going to use for conversion of the structural file format. So you see in this folder, we have 10, uh, 10 structural file format of ligand molecules. Okay. And I will try to convert this structural file format, 10 file format in a, to mark it into a single file format. So first of all, we have to see the path of that folder. The path of the folder is to user my PC desktop and tutorial. I am copying it. And this path will be used in the command line interface. So first select command prompt of Windows and change directory for that type CD that means change directory to the tutorial and then enter. When I enter now this command line interface detects the location of the uh, structural file format. You know these structures are present in tutorial folder. Okay, now I am going to use the command. The command is first I am calling open bubble capital O B A B E L. That means I am calling open bubble to convert the structural file format. Then star space dot mole two. That means all x all folder, all, all files, structural files with mold to extension will be used as input. Then as output, hyphen capital O output and uh, type a given name for, for the new, for, uh, new file. So it's new and I want to convert it into PDB. Then extension PDB should be given and then enter. You can see. 10 molecules has been converted and in this location you can see a new file has been generated that is new new.pdb it contains the information of all 10 ligands okay now i am going to show you how to split a single ligand file into multiple files so we have already with us the this file which contain 10 structure in a single file in protein data bank format and now I will try to split the file into 10 different structural files okay so we are already in this folder 
the tutorial folder and now I am going to use the common first O Babel. I am calling the open Babel and then name of the input file. Here the name of the input file is new.edb and then as output hyphen capital O output we have to give the name of the new structural file. So structure star dot I want to save it in SDF format. So as extension I am adding SDF then enter. So you can see open bubble is splitting the new file into 10 structural files. So now we have obtained 10 output files. Okay, you can see here this new .pdb file has been splitted into 10 different structural files in SDF format. Okay. Now, finally, I am going to show you how to convert multiple files into multiple other format in a single go. That means conversion in batch mode. In tutorial folder, you can see 10 structures are there in mold to format. And I want to convert this structure into PDB format in a single go. So in command prompt or command prompt, we are already in the tutorial folder. And this is the command O Babel. star space dot mold to that means all the structural files with mold to extension will be selected and then output pdb o pdb and hyphen m for multiple so you can see 10 molecules have been converted now 10 structures with pdb extensions are present here so we have converted 10 mold to structure into 10 pdb file format so that's how we can use open bubble for different purpose and that's all for today's tutorial thank you